Hi, this is Phil Burton from Barrel Builders. This is one of a series of videos that we're developing on helping winemakers and brewers take care of their barrels. This particular segment will be regarding how to prep your barrel for long-term storage between uses. For those of you who use city water, don't forget Chlorine and wood do not work together well. TCA, you've all heard about TCA and cork taint. It can happen in barrels just as well. So what you need to do is make sure that you put in a chlorine filter in your water if you have anything other than well water. After you finish using a barrel and get it empty, what you'll want to do is rinse it thoroughly till the rinse water is clear before sulfuring it or putting a holding solution in it. So we're gonna put water in this one just to see, make sure it comes out clear. That'll rinse all the sort of particulate stuff, leftover leaves, right in the barrel. So. After you empty a barrel, all kinds of stuff can start to grow in it. So what you want to do is some way to inhibit the growth of moles, fungi, bacteria, and that, and the sulfur dioxide is the drug of choice here. There are a couple of ways to introduce it. In big operations, if someone has a pesticide applicator's license, you can use gas sulfur. You get it in compressed gas cylinders and use it. But for smaller outfits and stuff, typically what they will do is burn sulfur in the barrel. Either sticks or what is more convenient are these little discs. We sell them, you can get them at two and a half and five gram and ten gram. After five or ten minutes, you can pull this out, be a little careful of it because the spent wick is brittle when it comes out, but there it looks like. And so if your barrel is cellar conditions are such that your barrel stays hydrated, this amount of sulfur should last for two months at least. And bung it. Later on, is if you want to check, you can just smell it. As long as you can smell SO2, free SO2 and the barrel seems clean, you're fine. If you finally, you don't smell the SO2 anymore or you smell something behind it, a little bit of volatile acidity, that vinegary note, or uh, worse, an aldehydic note, which is a little bit like airplane glue, you gotta rinse the barrel instantly, clean it out, hydrate it again, and resulfur it right away. Yeah, hi, thank you for watching the video. And if you have any questions, uh, con or concerns, you can email me at phil, P-H-I-L, at barrelbuilders.com. Stay tuned for the, for the next in the series of videos, which will be how to take your barrel out of storage and get it ready to refill with wine. And you're using used barrels. Say you've emptied your barrel and you want to store it, you want to store it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna hear what say it one more time. Well it one more time. Um, and stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs> the next episode exciting episode of <laughs> Phil and his barrels. <laughs>